It is a depressing fact that after 2,000 years, Christians are being driven out by the droves from Christianity's very birthplace by Islamic terrorists in the Middle East. And the international hub and financier-in-chief of all of these terrorist groups is Qatar, which has long been dubbed, as Rahim said, the club med for terrorists. This is a, a big story, and uh, you've got all of these countries now cutting ties to the Qataris. So Qatar is, I'm afraid, rather locked into its uh, radical Islam uh, funding. Qatar is at the center of this. Qatar has now uh, taken its place in the lead of countries that are supporting Al-Qaeda and Al-Qaeda-related groups. Indeed, Qatar has a long history of harboring known international terrorist masters such as Khalid Mashal of Hamas, where he's described as a welcomed guest, or Yosef al qadari of the Muslim Brotherhood. Uh, Hamas is a terror group that works out of Gaza, has shot over 2,000 rockets on Israeli towns and homes, including my own home in Ranana. Uh, this is unacceptable. According to the U.S. Treasury, the gas and rich nation of Qatar has openly financed Hamas, whose leadership is based there. It, who's standing behind Hamas? Who's funding Hamas? And the answer is Qatar. Qatar is a mass funder of terror and death all around the world, including quarter of a billion dollars to Khalid Mashal that has his headquarters in Qatar. And I think we have to stop this. We're hearing that these five countries are saying Qatar is too extremist, that, it, that it's been sponsoring terrorism. Uh, the Qataris are say, that, say that's not true. Well, none of them is, is making sense for all of us here that Qatar is a state sponsor of terror, which is a false, a false accusation. And they will look you straight in the eye and say they're not doing a thing like that, and then shovel under the table, shovel the money out to Hamas and uh, to uh, the violent side of the Muslim Brotherhood and so on. Qatar uh, is seen today as uh, a host of uh, leaders from uh, Hamas, uh, from uh, uh, Taliban. Actually, just tonight, the Qatari Amin will, uh, Amir will be hosting uh, uh, Sheikh Qardawi, who's uh, a well-known extremist in the region for an iftar. Qatar not only offers a welcome mat to these terrorists who've been expelled from other countries, but is a ready and available ATM machine. The nation of Qatar, unfortunately, has historically been a funder of terrorism at a very high level. Qatar has tried to have it both ways, supporting both Sunni and Shiite terrorist organizations alike and throwing its weight in with the very worst of the worst. But if you look at Syria itself, uh, the main group that is affiliated with Al-Qaeda, uh, formerly known as Jabhat al-Nusra, is, uh, is supported by Qatar. After the September 11, 2001 attacks on our soil, President George W. Bush famously said, every nation, every region, has a decision to make. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. Well, uh, we have to uh, see the difference between movements. I know that um, in America and some countries, they look at some movements as terrorist movements. In our part of the region, we don't. My question now is addressed to Sheikh Tamim. Are you with us or are you with the terrorists? You have a decision to make, and you can't have it both ways. Thank you very much.